Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiast. Right off the bat on the old show today, Land Rover shows off the brand new Range Rover Evoque. I know, it's just a mid-cycle refresh, but this vehicle get, does get brand new headlights, new taillights, and front and rear fascia. Now, all the underpinnings of this machine are the Land Rover Range Rover Evoque that we know and love, but it does get these updates as far as the looks department. I say, have to say that they have done nothing to spoil the good looks of this particular machine. This vehicle will be going on sale as a 2016 model very, very soon. The Bugatti folks have shot off a teaser shot of what they're calling the La Finale, which is going to be the final ever version of the Bugatti Veyron. And at the Geneva Motor Show, they're going to have them paired up. The first ever built Veyron, along with the last ever built Veyron. Now, the next generation Veyron is apparently coming very soon. We may actually get a teaser shot of that sometime in the year of 2016. Apparently, it's been well in the works for this particular machine. And we'll know a whole lot more about that La Finale when it shows off at the Geneva Motor Show. Also at the Geneva Motor Show, McLaren's going to be showing off their brand new offering. This is a vehicle that we talked about in one of the past shows, but we got official pictures of it as of now. This is the brand new 675 LT. LT giving a little tip of the cap to the old days. Remember the McLaren F1 long tail? Yeah, that's where this vehicle revived its name. Now, right off the bat, you see this thing gets a lot of arrow work. Look at the chin spoiler on that thing. Very low cut and stuck way out in front of this particular machine. And we're talking about a lot of lightweight, a lot of carbon option for this particular machine. It's going to be a lot lighter than the standard 650S. And this is what's supposed to bridge the gap between the 650S and the McLaren P1. This machine will have the same 3.8 liter twin turbocharged V8, but it's now making, as we said, 666 brake horsepower and 516 pounds feet of torque. Now, because this is a very track-focused machine, McLaren's done some really tricky stuff with the gear ratios and how much power the actual lump will put out in those particular gear ratios, especially like when you look at first gear, the amount of torque that's going to be available to that first gear is only going to be a, just a touch over 400 foot-pounds. This is to really help and eliminate wheel spin coming out of a corner. So this is really to help optimize the actual track abilities of this particular machine. This vehicle is going to be going on sale very soon. No official pricing on this machine yet, but again at Geneva Motor Show, you should know a whole lot more. Last up on the list, remember we talked about that Aston Martin Vantage GT3? Well, this is its full-time big brother. This is the big dog. This is the brand new Aston Martin Vulcan. This will be shown off at the Geneva Motor Show as well. Now, if you looked at that GT3, there is nothing between these two that's identical. This is full-blown race car. This is more like that McLaren P1 GT3 that we showed off in one of the last episodes. We're talking full racing as far as brakes, fully adjustable suspension, adjustable downforce front and rear. This thing is super lightweight. All the amenities are gone out of this particular machine. And it's going to be powered by a 7 liter, normally aspirated V12 that Aston Martin's claim is going to have somewhere around 800 brake horsepower, even though they haven't officially announced just what exactly this is. There's a lot of folks pointing at this thing's going to be super rare, too. Only 24 of them are going to be built at a cost of somewhere around $2.3 million apiece. Now, a lot of this isn't official as of yet because, again, this vehicle hasn't made its debut as it will at the Geneva Motor Show. We'll have a whole lot more about this machine. I have to say, this thing is a very, very good looking machine. Cannot wait to see some better pictures of it, hopefully coming up in Geneva. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. If you want to jump on over to the Facebook page, the link's down in the show notes. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time and get the first dibs on the brand new shows as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.